Aloha everyone, my name is Akane and I'm super excited to share with you guys all of my experiences here at UH Manoa. Alright, so as I said earlier, my name is Akane and I'm originally from Los Alamos, New Mexico as well as Matsushi in Japan. So I did graduate from Los Alamos High School in 2017. Um, so I am part of the WUI scholarship program which has been very, very helpful. I am currently a senior majoring in public health and minoring in biology, so I am on the pre-med track. So I'm super excited to share with you guys my journey that I've been on so far ever since I started here at UH Manoa. So why did I choose UH Manoa? There's a couple different reasons for this. The first one being that it is the perfect intersection between New Mexico, Japan, and Big Island, so I'm able to visit my family in all those places fairly easily. There's also a very rich mix of cultures here. So being half Japanese, it was really important to me that there was a lot of Japanese culture, history, food, all that stuff here made me feel very much at home. And because there's a rich mix of cultures, there's a very diverse community, which means that everyone here is so very welcoming of everyone. So no matter who you are, where you're from, you're always gonna feel welcome here. Um, so that's something that's very important to me and something that really drew me in. I've never felt that anywhere else in the world. So also academically speaking, not only is UH a really great place um, for academics, but I also want to attend the PA school in Kona on the Big Island after I graduate, so it's a really great stepping stone for that. So talking more about academics, I feel like I've had a very well-rounded academic journey. Um, so what I mean by that is that, of course, I've been able to take all of my public health classes, um, take part in the applied learning experience and do my um, internship. I've also been able to be a part of Partners to Health Engage, which is a global health club on campus. I'm actually the president of that right now. Um, so I've been able to immerse myself more into the public health field. But also I've been able to be a part of the medical student mentorship program. So that's the pig's foot in the middle of this slide. Um, so I've been able to go to a lot of their different workshops so this one was a suturing workshop and it was awesome because I got to learn how to do sutures on a pig's foot and that led me to think that you know maybe surgery is something that I want to get into um, so even though I am pre-med it doesn't mean that I have to take only science classes so I was actually able to take an Okinawan dance class which is the right bottom photo and that was super awesome because I was able to take something that pertained to my culture and I was able to go back to my roots which is really really special to me so I did live on campus for my first two years, which I very highly recommend. Um, so going back to kind of the diversity of everything here, there's people from all over the world and all over the country that dorm. So it's not only a really great way to make new friends, but it's also an awesome opportunity to learn more about different cultures and the world as well. So I lived in Halelohalehua for my first year. Um, so that is the left uh, or the two left photos. The bottom one is what it looked like inside of my room. It's awesome because you get to really personalize it to however you want to. My second year, I lived on campus in the on-campus uh, apartments, Holly Wainani. So it was a really great stepping stone for me to transition into living off campus eventually my junior year, which is the bottom middle photo of the house that I live in now with two of my really great friends. Um, so how I get to and from school is on my moped. And then um, while I'm on campus, I skate around on my longboard. Um, so these are two very common modes of transportation that you'll see all over campus. So I currently hold two on-campus part-time jobs, the first one being, of course, at the Office of Admissions as a campus tour guide. This has actually been one of my best experiences here on campus. I was able to meet new people who then became some of my closest friends. Um, you know, I was able to learn more about the campus, work on my self-confidence, and then also my public speaking skills as well, which has been so incredibly beneficial in every other aspect of my life. Um, in the top left photo is going to be of my other job at the first year programs as an ACE peer mentor. So I teach two freshman classes in the fall and it's been a great opportunity for me to be on the other side of the classroom and be the one teaching instead of being the one lecture too. So both of these jobs have really helped me in my own personal growth. So I've been able to grow as a person not only through my jobs, but also through other experiences on campus and off campus. So one of my favorites is at the Loi here on campus, which is going to be the left photo. So we have work days every first Saturday of the month and I try to go to every one that I can. And it's been a great opportunity for me to learn more about the Hawaiian culture and to really immerse myself into it. And through that, you know, I've been able to learn about other cultures on campus and really have a deeper respect for everyone that I meet. Um, so I've also been able to do a lot 
lot of volunteering. So in the top middle photo is going to be a picture of me volunteering at the Institute for Human Services at the after school program for the homeless children. So it's been, you know, a really great way for me to give back to my community. Um, and also the bottom is going, the bottom middle is going to be of the ACE Peer Mentor Program, which I kind of talked about earlier. And then on the right is going to be a picture of me um, shadowing. So I've had a lot of really great shadowing experiences. This one part in particular is of me shadowing a surgeon. So I've been able to stand in on surgeries and to observe them and really see that this may be something that I want to do in the future. So not only have I been able to grow as a person, but also pursue all of my passions. So I think that following your passions is incredibly important and UH Manoa is the perfect place to do that. So I've been able to follow my passions academically, also career-wise, but also nature is something that I'm very passionate about and something that I love. So I've been able to go on some amazing hikes here and go surfing at a whole bunch of different surf spots. And you know, some of my favorite memories are going Dawn Patrol before class. So we'd wake up at 5 a.m go surf for two hours, jump out of the water at 7.30, and go straight to our 8.30 class. And you know, there is nothing better than that. No better way to wake up and to, you know, just be following your passions all day. So I'm going to leave you guys with some little words of wisdom. So the first one being step out of your comfort zone. College is the perfect place to try new things, take advantage of all these opportunities that come your way, but you're not going to be able to do that unless you step out of your comfort zone. So also make time for things that make you happy. I think a lot of the times, um, you know, we get stuck in studying and stressing out about exams and we don't make time for things that make us happy. So for me, you know, I make time to go surf, to go skate, and honestly, I'm a better person because of it and I feel like I perform better in my academics as well. And also take classes outside of your major. A lot of people get stuck in their major, but there's so many classes out there for you to take. So definitely take the time to explore all the other classes offered here at UH Manoa. And lastly, never go to the market on Saturday nights. You will understand what I mean by this when you come to UH Manoa and you'll thank me for it later. Um, but I just want to thank all of you guys for listening to my presentation and I really hope that all of you have just as an amazing experience as I had here at UH Manoa. Thank you very much.